The sixth anniversary of Duel Links is right around the corner and I'm late, per the huge. On top of dream tickets, you know the anniversary has the spicy hookups. End of the month, we're getting a new box, Future Circuit, Firewall Dragon Poster Boy. But BAM! 1,000 gems and I'm blowing on Starry Night, not sorry. Skill tickets and character tickets to boot and the usual clean anniversary mess, but uh-oh, how could I forget? Mirror Force is literally a trap card. Now, Look, despite the fact that this card is touted as the ultimate weapon, even though it's the objective equivalent of hitting yourself in the face with a ball and paddle. Because if you attack when your opponent has face down cards now, you're just a fool. An opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls. That's plus three potential with an effect as devastating as its wet counterpart that is also easier to proc. It'll be a legend foil prisma and as the main event card for the anniversary, as just kind of like Monster Reborn last Last year, which means it'll likely be limited to one on its release as well. But I still see it beating out a lot of other limit ones. Now don't get it twisted, Mirror Force is not a perfect card, it's still a battle trap and that alone takes it down to that kind of 7 out of 10 ballpark for me. But it has a good enough effect to put it up in that 8 or 9 out of 10 for me. It's just to say its slowness and its vulnerability works against it, but its game ending effect is absolutely worth it and there will be even more nervousness in the opponent's battle phase now. We may only know four cards from the new box as of the moment, but all four of them are making me feel a type of way, I gotta say. Because Firewall Dragon is in the game now, properly. Link Force Cybers. Now once, while it's face up on the field, a co-linked Firewall Dragon can bounce a card on the field on a quick effect. Not always the easiest thing to set up, you know, if you're not World Chalice, but he's easily the best Link 4 we're gonna have so far. His arrows are fantastic, pointing up, down, left, and right makes him actually really easy to co-link with. Then if a monster is destroyed or sent to the grave that was in a zone that Firewall points to, you can special summon a Cybers monster from your hand. A combo extending effect that could give you a little extra special summon that you may need to set up as co-link. A very well-rounded card, fun to use, and that banger artwork. Like, that's all great. You're great for Playmaker, really happy for him. But I like the gore. And my man either needs Dino Wrestlers or, oh, I'll take Goki the Master Ogre. Link 4 Warrior on on a quick effect, Master Ogre can return as many Goki monsters you control to the hand that Master Ogre points to to target and negate the effects of that many face-up opponent's cards. It's like an archetypal giant hand in a way, supplying something that Goki really does need a turn one. But his arrows are great too, pointing down, down left, down right, and up, he can negate up to three face-up effects at once. But he ain't bad on turn two either because Master Ogre can attack all monsters your opponent controls. My man just straight up getting possessed by Invoked Purgatrio. No sense left, he just attacks everything in sight. A little caveat, Master Ogre can only attack your opponent's monster with the highest attack, but it doesn't really matter since if you're destroying it, you're changing that value every time he attacks anyway. A card worth mirror forcing, but let's go Goki, baby. I'm gonna cog with them in January, trust. Trickstar Bella Madonna. Quick turnaround for Trickstar support, and it's a good thing too, because they need it. While Madonna isn't pointing to any monsters, she's immune to all activated effects from the opponent. Then if it points to no monsters, Madonna can inflict 200 points of damage to your opponent for each trick star in your grave with a different name, hard ones per turn on both. Very interesting arrows, down, down, left, right, and up. The up arrow gives your opponent the opportunity to play around this card, and you, as the pilot, would have to be mindful of her down pointing arrows. I don't think this card is all that great. Maybe could be a turn one for trick stars, but like I said, your opponent can play around this card. I don't know, to me, uh, the work still looking a little light for trick stars. All right, y'all, we're here, and we truly, truly saved the best for last, Nightmare Unicorn. Link 3 Fiend pointing left, right, and down. When it's Link summoned, you can discard a card to spin any card on the field back into the deck. And if Unicorn was co-linked when this happened, you get to draw a card. Ladies and gentlemen, this card is completely generic, just requires different names, so I would like for all of you to meet New Malevolent Sin, a toolbox option for basically every deck in the game to rid a problematic card on the field. This card is so good, so worth getting, and I just hope the rest of the box is worth getting because I would love to encourage people to go get this card. Not to mention, spinning back to the deck is just a nice form of removal. Dodges non-destruction, floating effects, all that good shit. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next